The Hangover Part 3. Oh God, this film should be dead. All movie theaters should find the film reels and burn them like an inglorious bastards. Let's start off with Bradley Cooper. Look how bored this guy looks. This man has never looked like he did not give a shit about anything that was going on. Every single scene he was just like, what are you doing? Stop. Why? Why am I in this movie? Ed Helms. Apparently uh, people got annoyed by him freaking out so much in part two. So he tried finding that balance of freaking out but remaining like subtle about it. He's another one who seemed like, I don't want to be here. Zach Galifianakis. You know, the fat guy with the beard. He um, is the central character. I don't know why any of these people are still hanging out with this motherfucker. How can two logical people still want to help out a... Very subtle, mentally challenged person. Although he did make me laugh a couple of times. Chow! Remember that guy who had a few scenes in the first one and a couple scenes in the second one? Well, now he's the main character because studios were like, Oh my god, he's funny! We should just throw him in there forever! He is one of the worst things about this movie. Absolutely annoying. He should have just been in doses. Bottom line, this movie is a comedy. Is it funny? No! It's been a while since I've seen a movie where so many people are walking out halfway through due to no laughter. Of course, there's always that annoying fuck who happens to be right next to you, who's like, ha ha ha, Chow's so funny! This movie is more like a thriller that has like weird jokes every once in a while. Man, this movie really sucked balls. One last thing, I don't know why they call us The Hangover Part 3. No one gets drunk. Let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I have to say, The Hangover Part 3 really, really got it wrong. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my review for that horrible piece of shit. Why don't you go ahead, scroll to that comment box below and tell me, what did you think of The Hangover Part 3? Did it meet your expectations? If it did, please try and convince me. And if you want to see a more in-depth review of The Hangover Part 3, go ahead and check out my show that I do with my buddy Jerry called Reasons to See, where we will not give you reasons to see The Hangover Part 3, but we'll give you plenty of reasons not to see The Hangover Part 3. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews is out, Go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link right here. You see it? It's a pretty link, isn't it? We made it a certain color. That way it's more appealing to the eyes. So more people will click on it.